What is up, Six Pack Shortcuts? It is Thomas DeLauer, and I am back at you with some awesome nutrition content to show you the way that you can get the most out of your diet so you can get the most out of the gym and get the body that you want. All right, today I'm talking about protein powders. Now, I'm not just talking about any old protein powders. I'm talking about if you are someone that would benefit from protein powder or not. Should you consume protein powder from a jug or should you just eat good old fashioned meat? All right, what if I told you that protein powders weren't important because of the protein value? That's not why we consume protein powders, to be completely honest. You see, the benefits of protein powders come from the insulin spike. When we consume protein, we have an insulin spike, just like if we were to consume carbohydrates. In fact, it's even more so. Protein is what is called something that is insulinogenic, meaning it causes a spike in insulin. When you have that spike in insulin, it opens the cell doorway so the cell can be receptive to whatever nutrients are in play, in this case, protein. So when you consume meat, you don't have a huge insulin spike. But when you consume protein powder, it absorbs so darn fast that you spike your insulin and are more apt to absorb the protein. That is why protein powders are beneficial. So don't be mistaken, okay? Now you know me, I like to come from a traditional school of thought and have real talk without bro science. I like to keep it real because that's how you build a real body. Okay, so my favorite kinds of protein powder are as follows. Okay, we've got grass-fed whey protein isolate. Now isolate is a key word here. Isolated protein basically means that it's protein powder and the protein has been isolated from the rest of the whey, from the rest of the dairy. So you don't have all the junk. You don't have the casein, you don't have the lactose. You just have pure, unadulterated protein that your body can synthesize and build muscle tissue, period. Now the fact that being grass-fed is beneficial simply is because we want to get that protein that is sourced from good, healthy cattle, good, healthy cows that are not grain-fed. Okay, they're fed off of grass, so they have a nice natural nutrient balance that's going to pass on through to you when you need it the most. Now the next protein source that I am a huge fan of, and I'm prepared, the claws are gonna come out from all the trolls right now, I know this, is going to be pea protein. Why pea protein? Why am I pulling some kind of veggie nonsense on you? I have good reason, okay? I'm not opposed to dairy. I just told you that my top one would be that grass-fed whey. But pea protein gives your digestive system a little bit of a break. It's good to alternate now and then. Sometimes veggie proteins help you. It's still a complete protein. It's still gonna cause that insulin spike, still gonna cause your muscles and your cells to uptake that protein the same way that it would with dairy. It's just something different and it might leave a little bit less of a carbon footprint, if you will, in your system so that you can do it for a long time. The third protein powder source that I recommend isn't even a powder, it's meat. Just eat your whole foods. And you know me, I'm talking about good, old-fashioned, organic, sustainably raised, healthy, quality meat that isn't from poorly treated animals where the quality is total garbage. Okay, true story, and I hope you get a little bit of a chuckle out of this. When I was trying to put on a lot of muscle, I was bulking a lot, I was adding meat into a blender, blending it up, pulverizing it, and chugging it just as a way of trying to get it down. I basically made my own meat protein powder, which now in retrospect is kind of disturbing. I don't suggest you do that, it's nasty. But after your workout, you can definitely go ahead and have a nice organic chicken breast, or have a nice lean piece of fish, something that's sustainably caught, something like cod. Okay, go for that route. You don't always need to have protein powders. Protein powders are just that, a supplement. They're a supplement to a good, healthy diet. And let's build a real body here, let's have some real talk. All right, now let's go into what you should avoid. First one, casein protein. Why is casein protein bad? And why is it touted as something that you need to have before bed? Okay. Casein protein digests slowly. So they always tell us, consume casein protein before bed so you have a sustained release throughout the course of the night. Newsflash for you, marketing. Okay, one more thing for people to sell you, that casein protein is not critical. In fact, it's actually bad for you and will actually hurt your gains and hurt your progress. Here's why, when you consume casein protein, it kind of turns into like this gelatinous substance within your intestinal tract. It creates excess mucus. That is why it digests slower, but it also inhibits the digestion of other good things that you need. It hurts your gut bacteria. Here's a little science for you. Okay, so casein protein contains something called BCM7. What that BCM7 is, is a bioactive opioid. Now, 
Literally, what that means is it triggers opioid receptors within your body, similar to drugs that would trigger the opioid receptors, like morphine, talking about Oxycontin, things like that. It actually is addictive. That's why dairy becomes addictive. Now, some of you might think this is cool and you might go get hooked on dairy, but the fact is it's not healthy for you. It is slowing down your progress and it's not needed. You'll get the casein protein that you need in small enough quantities from other sources. The other protein powder that I suggest you stay away from is going to be a beef protein isolate. Okay, traditional marketing will have you believe that a beef protein isolate is literally like instantized beef, just like Thomas DeLauer's good old fashioned meat shakes that he used to make. Not true. If you did the math and you actually quantified it, that stuff would have to be about $200 per pound to actually get the amount of protein that you're getting per scoop if it was actually instantized meat. What it is, is it's poorly ground cuts. It's basically tendon, it's collagen, it's little bits and pieces like that, that they've added amino acids to to make it a quote unquote complete protein. It's not good quality. If you're gonna spend the money on that, you're better off to just eat a nice lean piece of organic grass-fed beef. Now I hope I didn't scare you with this video. I wanted to give you some good solid insight. And the solid takeaway from this is rotate stuff up don't consume the same thing over and over again. If you do, you start triggering antibody responses within your body. You can start rejecting the process. You're not gonna absorb as much, all right? So as always, keep it locked in here on my videos on Six Pack Shortcuts. And honestly, if you like having these videos back, comment, because us here at Six Pack Shortcuts, we wanna know what you wanna see so that we can create the ultimate best content and also create the best products for you. All right, I will see you in the next video.